Were we not, Mr. JRPG? Everyone's responses are delayed. Because when I get the puzzle right in the five seconds that it shows up, all y'all be like, dang, Axelrod's got the smarts. And then when it takes him the full five minutes and he still doesn't get it, he be like, dang, what is he doing? Uh, I need to stop by my office and check on or, and check something. After that, we'll go find Inspector Chelmy. Any pick hit coins? Oh, yep. 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 Uno mas. There you are, Professor. I see you canceled lecture again this week. Let me guess. Are you investigating another strange mystery? Hello, Rosetta. Yes, something rather pressing has come up. But I'll be sure to hold a makeup session later. Oh, no worries, Mr. L. As long as I get my credits, I'm not sweating it. Now, what kind of attitude is that to have, Rosetta? If you want to, if you want those credits, you have to earn them. And as your paper uh, is on the stone relics of Cornwall, I'd say you have your work cut out for you. As your advisor, I insist that you check in with me weekly until your paper's shaped up. I didn't mean to imply I wasn't interested in the work, and I'm very much looking forward to our sessions together. Not every girl has the privilege of receiving private instruction from the great Professor Layton. What I mean to say is that you should check in during office hours. Oh, you don't have to tell me twice, Professor. I'll see you next week. I don't know what that girl's up to, but it can't be good, Professor. Nonsense, my boy. I'm sure it's all in your head. You can't fool me. Did you see the look she gave you? She's a man-eater, whatever that means. Oh, dear. And you the guard that we bumped into the presentation. Yes, as you recall, and everything has settled down. Sorry to hear that, man. You know, things are going pretty bad. You know, the dean filled me in, and then I just got this puzzle. Alright, each member of a shady trio was dressed in red, white, and green. However, none of their outfits were the same. Here's what the witnesses had to say about them. The men wore the same color jackets. Two of them had white pants on. The larger man wore a white hat. The woman's jacket was green. Tap the trio's clothes and change the colors to match the eyewitness report. Women's jacket was green. The larger man wore a white hat. Two of them had white pants on. Other outfits were the same. Okay, so your hat can't be white, and your hat can't be white. Well, actually, yes, they can. Hmm. I feel like this isn't enough time. I also forgot 
Oh, no, it's right there. I don't, I don't think this is enough information. Well, for one, their outfits all look different just due to the sizes alone. So they're not the same. I, I mean, it is 40 Picarats. So there is that. Her hat cannot be white or green. Well, so I, I see where you're going with that, but it says that none of their outfits were the same. So you can interpret that as none of their complete outfits, as in from head to toe, or none of their individual clothing items were the same. So it's entirely possible that two or more people or two people could have the same color hat, but different color shirt and pants. Also, none of them are exactly the same. Or same thing, so they're not the same. You're just picking on how they put it. It is a Leighton puzzle, so there's there's a lot of things. Does they they wore all three colors? Yeah, it, it it's not it's not specific like that. Um and if if I were to think of it in that manner, that's when I st that's when I think, okay, it's just not enough information because as it is right now, it would just be guessing. Two men wore the same color jackets. They could both wear white jackets. Um, they can even both wear white hats. And I could just change your pants to that and your pants to that. And like, that would still technically be correct for these two people because they're different outfits. Do them have white pants on though? Well, that cannot be true. Well, but it could be um, she could have white pants on too. So you know, it, it could be it could be like uh, like that. Um, okay. Is there anything else that I can glean from this? Uh, the men wore the same color jackets. Okay, which is, uh, not going to be green. Oh, and that, I guess, alludes to what I was talking about. The individual items can be the same. Let's just change these to red for for a difference in color here. We'll say green hat, white shirt, red pants. No two can have the same. And they all need red, white, and green. Or you're reading it wrong. I, I think they do need all red, white, and green. Key piece of info you think is that they must be wearing all three colors. Uh, yes, but how do I determine who's wearing what pants? Two of them had white pants. So, 
So if you have a white hat and you have the same color shirt as him, then I assume that you have green pants. Which means you have a green hat. Which means you have a red hat. Yeah, they wouldn't be able to have white pants. Unless that would make their hats both green for the same outfit overall. I guess... I guess this is the conclusion that we're coming to. You know why I keep thinking yellow? About this one. <laughs> maybe it's yellow on your screen. I don't know. Maybe you got that like oh, yellow silly. filter. Maybe you're rocking the gunner glasses, you know? Those really expensive glasses. Smashing for a shady trio. Their clothes might be a bit too conspicuous. And let me take my Maverick Top Gun glasses off. Oh boy. Look at you flexing. Marshall, my boy, I've been looking for you. I have a puzzle for you. Let me get to the puzzle. Nobody cares about what you have to say other than you giving me the puzzle. Uh, here are some matchsticks that spell out 100M. Move one of the matches into the garbage to display a length that is uh, one over a thousand that size. Move one of the matches into the garbage.
Bring out the timer. Oh, I did. He's having a staring contest with his monitor right now. These ones are very tricky because you have to look at uh, several different parameters. Um, and nothing really... Like, moving one particular item is super strange. I was afraid of that. Dante's got it. I definitely don't quite understand everything that I'm looking at. The fact that they can be rotated is suspicious to me. Uh, 100M, we're talking about length, so M stands for meters. Doesn't help me. I don't know anything about meters. Uh, is it zero zero M? Nope. The answer is exactly one one thousandth of the original value. No matter how much you play with the number, you can't get one one thousandth of the original value. Why don't you try changing the unit of measurement? What's one one thousandth of... 100 million. I don't know. Oh, meters? Oh. I don't know. Give me the super hint. Uh, one one thousandth of one km is one m. One one thousandth of a hundred m is zero point one m. So in other words, ten cm. <laughs> I would have never gotten that. Would have never gotten that. Let's see if I've got this right. You Googled it and it's dumb. <laughs> well, that's it. <settled. laughs> this is a latent puzzle right here. 100% a latent puzzle. Terrific. 100M, 100 meters, becomes a 10CM. 
10 centimeters. I might have to agree with you that it's dumb. That's it. You've helped me with my puzzle. You want to use the metric system in America? Well, you know, if, if, if they... You notice the word length and thought it was weird, but didn't get until they said M stands for meters. Yeah, that, that information should have been in the puzzle. You know, maybe they could have been tricky about it, you know, like, uh, in the 100 meter dash, you know, you light some matches to, to carry the torch. You know, something stupid like that. 